What is up everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, and today we're coming at you with our next in the series of blade steel. Before we talked about S35VN, today we're going to be talking about VG10 blade steel. Let's get right into it. Now VG10 originated in Japan mainly with kitchen cutlery and uh, there has also been a lot of Damascus made with VG10 steel. Now the G in VG10 stands for gold or gold standard because at the time that it was created it was actually considered the gold standard as far as blade steels were concerned especially in kitchen cutlery. Now let's take a look at what makes up VG10 steel. Alright folks, there's a lot that makes up VG10 steel. I'm not going to lie to you. I can't remember it all right off the top of my head. So I'm going to read these off. Um, it's going to be approximately 1% carbon, 1% uh, molybdenum, 15% uh, chromium. That's what's going to make it stainless steel. It is above that 13% threshold. 0.2% uh, vanadium and 1.5% cobalt. Now, these are going to give VG10 its ability to hold an edge and resist rust as well, making it great for kitchen cutlery and really any kind of cutlery. It makes it a very strong, very durable steel that has great sharpability and it's going to hold an edge very well. Now folks, VG10 of course has been used in a lot of kitchen cutlery, but in recent years it has become very, very popular in the EDC world with knives just like this. This is our Rough Rider Copper Cleaver with that VG10 Premium Steel. It's a great offering from Rough Rider, our very own brand here at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. You can find it in this knife as well as many others here in our store. It, pro it has proven to be a great steel for pocket knives as well as kitchen cutlery. Now, you don't want to get it confused with VG1. Um, they're very similar in some ways. They're both stainless steels, but VG1 is going to be a lot less durable. It's also going to be a lot cheaper. Um, VG10 is going to be a lot more durable, a lot harder, and uh, a lot better. Therefore, it is going to be a little bit more expensive. Um, so folks, VG10 is a great steel, not only for kitchen cutlery, but also in the realm of EDC knives. So folks, in conclusion, that's VG10. That's what it's made of. That's where it comes from. And that's where you can find it. Not just kitchen cutlery, but EDC knives as well. Folks, it's a great steel. Uh, I really like it. It's a, it's a phenomenal tool steel as well. But like I said before, it found its start in kitchen cutlery in Japan. And everyone knows the reputation that the Japanese have for their kitchen cutlery. They are top notch when it comes to that. Folks, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring that notification bell so you will know when we drop new videos. And join us down in the comments below. Let us know what you want to hear more about. Uh, let us know what blade steel you want to hear from us next. And maybe we'll cover it in our next episode on blade steels. And remember, if it cuts, we carry it.